Marlo Tagline is my fave. Ooh, but Sheree is in a close running though. Sheree is in a close running. Sheree is in a close running. Cause it's like <laughs> that's some shit that folks done made fun of her for rightfully so because that shit was funny as fuck. Like, girl, what are you talking about? September, spring, summer. Wait. <laughs> so it's just like for her to then turn it into a tagline as she come back. That shit is funny as fuck. And also, I would have to say iconic as fuck. Even though I don't even really like Sheree like that. But Marlo's is still my fave. It's, it's been a long time coming, huh? And she said that shit with enthusiasm. It also reminded me of Electra from Pose, the way she said that shit, the inflection and the delivery of it all. I'm here for it. So I don't know about this um, Kenya and her dance partner. Now, I watched Dancing with the Stars with Kenya because Kenya was on here, okay? And I got that they had like an intimate connection or whatever, somehow on a soul or a heart level or whatever. But I ain't get romantic, but they shady. The editors are shady, done show Marlo like in a, um, what looks to be like a replica. Oh, that is, that's what that is, her outfit from, uh, that's her outfit from Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Yes, okay, come on, Marlo. It looked damn good on both of them. But, yeah, I didn't get no romantic vibe off of them, but I guess it could be so. I don't know. We shall see, I guess. That would be cute. I, guess. I like short on Marlo. I think short hair does better on Marlo, to be honest. I like to see her face and her cheekbones. Uh, 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 like a skin graft for edges. Marlo got like a, a edges skin graft type shit. A hair graft? She got a hair graft. Damn. Marlo bad. Marlo is bad. Chai, Marlo is like uh, Tommy from Martin. Don't nobody know what you do. Do she got a job? You ain't got no job, Tommy. Interesting. Okay, so Marlo got like Lark of a collection of her um, well put together outfits, expensive pieces, things of that nature. She done rented it out. She making like a, a, a art gallery type shit for it. Like a exhibit. That's what it's giving. Who is this walking hard? That's Sheree walking hard. <laughs> Child, I bet Sheree one of them people when you're in the house, you hear her walking, you hear her coming, you hear her doing whatever it is she's doing in the house because she walks so hard, child. It makes sense they said she was working out when they called her because honey look like she been sweating. Glowing now, skin look good. Stank face is iffy. How they say Drew needs to be on love and marriage, but 
Sure, Ray needs to be on love after lockup. Nah. Mm. To each his own, honey. To each his own. I ain't never dated. Well. Nah. I ain't never dated nobody from jail, child. Um. I ain't never dealt with that type of situation. House and never. If they been in jail all of this time, they get to the house and you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all collide and things of that nature. And then all of a sudden, y'all want to be celibate? What happened? That to me feel like something happened. Something happened. So something is missing from this story that Sheree is telling Candy, Kenya, and Marlo. Uh-uh. Something missing from this story, Sheree. Something is missing from the story. Bro, I thought Kenya divorce was finalized. That is depressing, honey. Bro, let me find out that Kenya and Mark gonna end up being like Joy and Trick Daddy. Tis, be careful who you marry, child. Be careful who you have kids with. For real, for real. Please learn from other people's experiences because I do my best to for real. That is depressing. Oh, that's a nice jacket Candy got on. God damn, Janet Jackson. <laughs> Candy got her Janet Jackson swag going on in the confessional. Damn legs. Damn legs. Boy, if I was ever to meet Marlo, I would hit her with that Peter Griffin. Do those legs go all the way up? And I hope she say why yes they do because they absolutely do, like for real. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> Fendi, what the hell is all these antlers? A little tacky, tacky, expensive. It's Marlo. <laughs> Who it is? Who has this here? It's a little tacky, a little tacky, expensive. Lo and behold, it's Marlo, Marlo. It's tacky, expensive, Marlo. I'm here for it. <laughs> Oh, he is a teenager. Oh, that's a cute fit. Them pineapples look good. I wonder what. I wonder what Marlo cooking tastes like. Okay, so yeah, we know Marlo done took in her nephews. I didn't realize that boy was that. Oh, he got such a baby face. So, yeah, uh, they're teenagers. I guess one is more of a preteen. She getting ready for school and stuff, or she getting ready for something. I don't know what day it is. Oh, that's a badass jacket. She getting ready. She done cooking breakfast and shit. Mm -hmm. I see being outspoken runs in the family. How cute. I don't like the short blonde bob, boo. I don't like the short blonde bob. But shout out to Milo for taking in her nephews 
and being such a wonderful monty it's very commendable it's very redeemable and you better play them cards right girl you better play that peach juice right okay and have your redeeming qualities on deck and up front because when you start acting a fool you already know what time it is huh <laughs> i see you True. Every time I see Ralph, I be like, why do I think he's so fine and all this and it? Yeah, I ain't ugly, but. Yeah. real life feel like drew is stuck in the characters that she has played over the years and that she needs to deprogram and detox and rehabilitate from those characters that's all i'm saying for right now her husband is a weirdo. And, and, and... Drew is such a yeah, me too. As good, like, everything is yeah, me too. Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, I did this too. Yeah, I want to do that too. It's like a child. It's like a child. Like, why do you want to athletically? Spa, if you will. With an Olympian. Drew talking about she got some drop it with Drew, some type of um workout, weight loss, body positivity program, and that's all well and good and shit. But it's giving your cousin that always got a brand new idea every other week. It's giving your cousin that saying some shit on TV or Instagram. It's like, ooh, I want to do that. Ooh, yeah, me too. Ooh, I did this when I was three. I should be able to do it now. And true enough, go after for whatever you feel. Try your best to be whatever you want to be. Try your best to think big and don't limit yourself, okay? Limitless, doubtless, boundless, right? But also... Move and speak with a purpose, child. Move and speak with a purpose, not just because you want something to say and you want something to do. Because that's what Drew very much so gives. That she speaks and does a lot of things because she wants to speak and do. Not necessarily because she has anything real to say or anything honestly purposeful to do. Or maybe she can't feel, or maybe she feel like she can't do what she really needs to do. What she needs to do is learn how to drop it in a squat. <laughs> Come on, Sonya. Suck it, babe. Suck it, babe. Drew bad, too.
Ralph just rubbed me wrong. Just when I see him, and his, how his head do and shit like that. Just, just the fact that his head do like this. Just tell me everything I need to know. What is she cooking? Oh, better answer the door. We back at Kenya house. She over here with her dance partner. She cooking. He playing with the baby and somebody is at the door. He go there and... Oh, yeah, that was Kenya. Okay. Oh, Marlo sending around this daggone invitation. Marlo sending around the invitation. So, that's what he ran down there. That's what it was when he answered the door. But child, he answering her dog, so that's interesting. They done got real comfortable, but that can happen in creative settings, though. And, uh, you know, when you're doing creative projects with somebody, you know, you end up spending every day with them, and it's just natural that y'all end up forming a bond. So it may not be romantic. It could just be they get creative chemistry, and they end up forming a bond throughout the process. That girl look good, though. Marlo should have gave her a tablet though, a, um, an iPad. Should have gave her an iPad, or or a Marlo bot, like Ted bot, Ted bot from a uh, uh, Black Ink Crew. <laughs> it's an iPad on like a a rolling robot, like um, it's her name Karen on SpongeBob, Plankton's wife. <laughs> It's like that, and it got his it's an iPad, and he FaceTime from it. It's, it's funny. Anywho. Okay, now we are officially at Sonya House. That's the new gal. Damn, all them look alike. All them got the same head. Snap. Is that her brother? Or her brother in law? Because he phoned me. If that's her daddy, he kind of cute. Oh, yes. Who is that? That's her husband. Oh, that's my type. That's my type. Oh, your girl. Your husband is my type. Oh, girl. You better cling to him in the crowd, cause girl, I do not condone infidelity. I would not do it. But boy, if I was your girl, all the things I do to you. Child, I'm sorry, I don't got, I don't even know what the hell going on in the scene, cause her husband didn't caught my attention. Child, child, what they talking about? Oh. It's a conversation about a baby. Child, so, um, apparently Sonya's husband wants another baby, but she's skeptical about it. She's skeptical about it because how things went, you know, uh, the first time or the first couple of times. I'm not sure. Damn, yeah, Mr. Lawn, man. But anywho, she not sure how that'll go because she got, like, some, like, kind of PTSD off of the first go around, the first couple of times. I don't know um, exactly how many kids they got. I'm not sure as of yet. But she's skeptical about that shit, which is understandable. And her dad is talking about he gonna help. Mama quickly shut it down like, oh, sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. Who is this that over here at the party? I don't know what this party for. Who party this is? Uh, oh, Sonya got a little get together. And uh, Candida. Candida with the Janet Jackson. Andrew. Oh, this look like Drew House. I'm really trying to get through the benefit of the doubt. I just feel like she's not keeping. 
Drew said she had a mom. She she said she had a hysterectomy, like love and healing to her. But then she said she had a Tommy took a mom and make on her, and she lost twenty five pounds on her program. I don't see it. Child Bravo put it up. Let us determine for ourselves. And honey, I don't. I don't know where she lost the 25 pounds. Eh? Maybe, maybe she lost 25 pounds of ass. Maybe she lost the weight in her ass. Ralph look like he lying about something. I don't know what. Now, now, okay, so she um got to talking about how uh Ralph is up here, got some type of flirting messages, questionable messages, suspicious messages going on with his assistant, and he being weird and shit. I told you the nigga, the main is weird, and he look like he lying. He looked like, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, ain't, ain't nothing happened, know what I'm saying? Uh, why did I get married? Every time he lying, he say like, know what I'm saying? That's how he just look, his body language says, know what I'm saying? Child, if Sheree don't go ahead and drop a jogger set, <laughs> if Sheree don't go ahead and, and send all these gals at least the same jogger set, <laughs> I know some. Who the cell looking like Corella Deville? Is that Mala? I ain't. Child, Molo is bad, child. She killing it with the Corella de Vil. Lexed fit. It's just a little, it's just a little boot. Okay? A little dab. Just a little dab. And it's everything. The exhibit is really nice. I think it's an exhibit, boo. It's an exhibit. I can understand when people have expectations or when people are, are just not um, educated on certain things. But at the same time, if you just like release your expectation, it won't be difficult to comprehend what's going on and why. Because not only is it laid out in a certain way that you should be familiar with if you've ever been to a museum or an art gallery and you're listening 
when the presenter is talking, then it won't be nothing to be confused about. <laughs> but you know, I, okay, we're gonna see. Everybody keeps calling uh, Sonya Sanya. Easy mistake, huh? <laughs> Um, so we are at Marlo's Lark Eyes event and some of the people there and as I can see from the background of, you know, other people that are not on the show that are there, they seem to be rather enthused and embracing of the ambiance and the air and the event and the, you know, arts and pieces that are being presented and things of that nature and then some of the ladies of the show are a bit confused about oh my gosh y'all all these little bugs but some of the ladies are a bit confused about what is going on at the event and what the purpose of the event is you know I, I me personally I feel like it's people, as I said, unwilling to release their expectations of what they thought was going to go on. And that's what's keeping them from understanding what is actually going on. And of course, there is a show being filmed here. This is a reality show. And Marlo is new to the pitch, yet old to the show, okay? So... Being the fact that she is new to the peach, they got to throw some salt in her game and see how she reacts, see how she handle it, see where she fall at. And perhaps maybe some people want to get a little bit of payback from certain things or certain ways that they felt jaded by her in the past. So maybe it's a little bit of it as well. I definitely feel like that also plays into it also because type of person Marlo is and the way that she be putting on it makes sense that there are, are certain people that be, would be waiting for a moment to throw salt in her game as I said hmm let's see what else is giving honey me personally though I would have preferred a black background so being the fact that the walls are white I would have put around like some type of cute black curtain some type of expensive looking velvet curtains around bedazzled maybe let's make it look a little more sophisticated and black mannequins also black and or gold and or silver mannequins That's better, yeah. If Drew gonna have her hair pulled back, it should have like a bayang type situation going on. Get you more hair hair. <laughs> okay, so the oldest boy that Marlo got is 14 and the other one is 12. Okay. All right, that makes sense. That do make sense. Yeah, I think what it is, Marlo has an inflated sense of importance. Those, a lot of those pieces are nice, though. I do be liking her own stuff. She be wearing, 
like this pink chicken she got on here. I like this. Yeah. I like this. Oh, it, and it's Marlo that got on the pink chicken. She's walking around and this beautiful pink chicken and <laughs> it don't look like a chicken, y'all. It's just, oh, uh, it's pink and feathered, <laughs> but it's cute. I love it. I love it. So Marlo's walking around in her pink chicken and she is, you know, giving the background and the backstory of her different pieces. You know, she's being the MC of her own event. Mm -hmm. And she's showing other people. And it's not bad. It's really not bad. She could use a bit more spectacle, a bit more decor, a bit more um, color scheme or color contrast of some sort as it concerns the surrounding environment. But it's not bad. Try not the strawberry jelly candy dress. Baby, from a pink chicken to a strawberry jelly candy dress. Yeah, ma'am. Honey, I love it. Because it's hitting just right. Had old legs go all the way up. I'm here for it. See, I know that's something everybody ain't going to like. But I, I like it. I like it look good on her. Everybody can't do that. But it look good on her. And it got to be worn on somebody that got legs. And shoulders. I ain't gonna lie, it's making me want one of them candies though. Got my mouth watering for one of them candies. Cut through, she got some big names. Oh, good. But come through, she got some big names. She got a violin player there. Cha. So Sheree and Sonya done spilled the tea on how Kenya was talking and asking questionable questions about the event okay then i told marlo about how kenya was talking about the event even though kenya ain't the only one who was talking about the event but then child marlo done took it up an extra notch and then read kenya down for the filth about her old white refrigerator and some more shit honey oh driving lisa ray's range rover I mean, at least she had a friend that let her drive her car, if that's the case. <laughs> Fuck, she ain't. No tea, no shade, but she ain't have to sleep with nobody to drive their Range Rovers, if that's the case. She had a friend that let her drive her Range Rover, if that's the case. And they were, oh, that's a cute little uh, bun, uh, Drew. But... Even still, why they gonna tell her that Kenya was like made like Kenya was the only one that was talking about the event? Everybody was asking, all of them was asking questions, questionable questions about the event. Child, and now she darting straight towards Kenya. Is good. Yeah, she gonna straight towards Kenya, and they like, I'm glad they speaking up though. Like, okay, all of us, you know, all of us said something. It wasn't just her type shit. But I also understand why she like kind of emotional about it. But I also understand why folks is kind of like a little bit disregarding toward it, cause like 
Keep that same energy, honey. Keep that same energy. Bro, Kenya done effortlessly read Marlo for the dog filth, the pig filth in the confessional, talking about her stuff that like come off eBay. They done put up LeBay. I'm fucking screaming. So her stuff is given eBay. And the shady ass producers done put up the bag. <laughs> I'm fucking screaming. Come on, legs. Not done told Drew up and walked off. Toe drew up and walked off, ripped and read her croissant down. And granted, Marlo ain't really much of a reader, but she is shady. Shady yeah, as an oak tree, okay? And she good for some one-liners. And boy, she said, honey, you got a French roll. And all I could think was, darling, that is a quaison. That is a quaison. Need to put a little cheese on that quaison. <laughs> but, darling, that was the end. Marlo read everybody well. Shaded and one-lined everybody. Well, she kind of tore into Drew for a good little bit. And I'm sure this scene went on for longer than what they showed us. So, ain't no telling how long she sat up there and just spit daggers at Drew, honey. I don't know how I went from Kenya to Drew. I guess because it's easier. I guess because it's like Drew is a very easy read. So as soon as she pipe up, it's like, fuck out of here. <laughs> ah, Tisk, Paul Drew, Paul Drew, free Drew, child. Free Drew from herself and whatever else is keeping her in lost in the sauce anywho so um just to round up what happened throughout the entire episode okay so we were introduced to sonya the jamaican olympian track star out here and we introduced to her and her fine ass husband and her daddy and her mama and they storyline this season is it seems like they got some good chemistry and like they got some real love but her husband wants a baby and she is skeptical because of how things happened the first time that they had a child like i said i don't know how many they got if they got more than one but she is skeptical based off he was with that one or those and it's t perfectly understandable because men don't always understand everything that goes into having to carry the child, then bring it into the world, then be there for it on a 24-7 basis while you got all types of different hormones and a whole nother level of life. Like, not understanding that women, like, low-key, high-key, die and come back or almost die and come back when they go through labor and that's a hell of a lot on the mother and the child so they be needing the utmost support and a lot of people not just the men that they with don't be understanding that if they are not the ones that are in their position or they haven't gone through their position yet if they are women okay and, you know, some people just have empathy and able to put they, themselves in other people's shoes, you know, in order to have their understanding. So, there's that, and that's going to be their storyline. We're going to see how that turns out. I honestly, 
I'm rooting for them because, like I said, it seemed like they got some real love and some real chemistry going on. And it would be a shame to see two beautiful ass people with two seemingly beautiful personalities just fall apart in such an ugly manner over something that seems like it could be so simple to fix. You know, just show up and if you seem to be having some issues with connecting or some issues where you know you have a habit of disconnecting the effort to seek some therapy or you know at least change your ways meditate do some yoga or something to make it right you know get more present in the moment and supportive and you know um heartfelt in your interactions with your people you know that can be an easy fix at that rate but you know emotions be a motherfucker and pride be a motherfucker and be holding folks back and they be letting it because people like to be comfortable but who else we got um candy not too much uh was introduced about candy this episode she was more so kind of like a uh a meantime in between time type of persona this episode but you know it's always all good with candy huh always looking good always spicing it up giving us the tight teeth shout out to rocks and the smile and the little funny gay commentary the responsive commentary here and there and we love her for it okay um marlo we was introduced to marlo and her nephews and seeing her you know be a monty to them a mom and an auntie as they are in many transitions in their life transitioning from you know being with the mother or the guardian that they had previously before marlo um moving into a different home and also both of them are at pivotal moments in their lives the oldest is 14 and the youngest is 12. the youngest has just came into preteenhood, and the oldest has just came into teenagehood it's a lot going on they are a lot of things at once and there's a lot going on at once so we are definitely rooting for them and we are rooting for marlo and like i said i see also how we are setting up our redeeming qualities as we prepare to act a goddamn fool with this new cup of peach juice and this brand new peach <laughs> okay she got some new peach juice we're gonna see how that turn out i'm here for it so far but i also know that it could quickly turn into a monstrous situation and i hope that it does not i hope that it stays even killed with the zesty sweet and sassy of it all i don't even know exactly what i just said but i know it much is marlo <laughs> okay so we rooting for her and we rooting for the boys let's hear it for the boys anywho um who else we got kenya and her dance partner on dancing with the stars okay i love kenya on dancing with the stars i was so upset that she did not make it to the end that she did not win <sighs> i feel like it was a snub but what do i know right anywho they making it like um it's some romantic tease between her and her partner but i don't know about that it could just be some creative chemistry going on and they got a real nice bond girl says she is not unbonded from her husband mark just of yet and i don't want to give any energy to that man i don't want to give any energy to that man or anything that he has going on so i'm not going to stay on the topic all i'm going to say is free kenya Free Kenya. Moving on. Free Drew from her peanut head husband. Shout out to Tisa Tales for pointing out that he looked like one of the peanuts off of the Proud family. Because <laughs> that's definitely what he is giving. A giant version of one of them peanut head as peanuts. And he is giving nutty situations. And I don't want to give too much energy to him right now either. So we're going to bypass that. And we're going to hope that Drew get her nitty situations in order as well. Because she be giving all types of almond-shaped head realness and almond non-goodness. I don't even like almonds. So I definitely don't like what she putting down. Because it's giving pick me. It's giving yeah me too. And I don't mean in the form of the me too movement. I mean that old rap song. Yeah me too. Everything it's saying is Mr. Me too. 
that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, me too. It's like some type of... It's like she a caricature of herself in some type of way. And I really, like, want to like her. I don't dislike her, but it's just really weird and concerning. Like, it's weird in a concerning and alarming manner. And I'm kind of afraid for her. I, I don't... Drew seems like the person, the type of person that could be a danger to themselves. But I'm not going to give too much to that. I hope that that's not the case. We're going to see how that turned out. Um, her storyline seems to be given that her husband acts like Kirk from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And that she also acts like Rashida in certain ways where she is willfully naive and willfully ignorant to what is going on around her. So that she can keep people around her and so that she can keep getting their attention and that she can stay in their good graces like she wants to be liked she wants to be liked she wants to be seen and she wants to be heard really 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 bad and i don't really know why or where that comes from and i hope that we find out why and where that comes from so that it won't be so jarring and alarming and like borderline irritating um and so that she can stop getting red for the feel so much and so that she can stop being such a easy read um, who else we working with? Sheree. Still ain't got no joggers. Not much to say. Bone carrying, messy, made it seem like Kenya was the only one talking about the event when all of them was talking about the event. We see you, Sheree, and giving some really questionable, nasty energy to Drew off real something about an assistant being a common denominator something about the assistant being like the same dude that was on basketball wise that was causing drama between them talking about Malaysia's kids being dirty and some shit I just know this season is about to be real rowdy and real nasty and real redundant and uncalled for but it's gonna be some redeem and redemption that's what I see also, some redeem and redemption in the midst of the rowdy and redundant. <laughs> and that's Bravo for you, right? That's Real Housewives for you, right? Did I miss any of the wives? Did I miss any of the wives? I hope not. I hope I didn't miss any of the wives. I don't think I missed any of the wives. If I did, my bad, you can remind me any of the things that I missed, anything that I did not see, anything that I may have been blinded to, whatever, what have you. But I hope that this was educational and entertaining for you all. And I hope that you will return and like, comment, and subscribe. Like, love, and liberation to you all. And as I always say, emphasis on liberation. Peace.